Alright guys, today we are going to be talking about our variables and expressions. Uh, previously we were talking about word problems and the expressions that we write with that, but now we're going to be throwing in some variables. We have two vocabulary words to focus on today. Uh, one of them is variable, and the other one is an algebraic expression. A variable is a letter or a symbol used to represent an unknown value. I'm sure that you're used to variables. Um, the one that I'm sure you're used to seeing is the letter X. Um, it's even the same as in second grade when you had 2 plus box equals 4. What does the box equal to? That box is the same exact thing as a variable. Now, the algebraic expression. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains at least one variable and at least one mathematical operation. Uh, the algebraic expression differs from the numerical expression because of the variable, variable part. All algebraic expressions have at least one variable in it. When it comes to word problems, we want to decipher what the words are basically trying to say. So, for example, the first one, $3 more than the cost of a sandwich. We know that the word more means that we're going to be doing some addition. So, we need to figure out what we're going to add. So, it looks like we're going to be adding $3. And the one thing that we do not know is what the cost of the sandwich is going to be. So... The variable that we could use is C. So basically, C is the same thing as cost. So it would be $3 more than the cost of a sandwich. So our algebraic expression is 3 plus C. In the second example, Jess has $2 and made $6 per hour babysitting. In this example, it looks like there might be some multiple operations that we would be using. At the beginning, Jess already has two dollars in her pocket. So we know that Jess already has the two dollars. And it looks like she is going to be adding however much money she's going to make when it comes to babysitting. When it says per hour, that means that we are going to be doing some multiplication. So what are we multiplying? We're multiplying the $6 with however many hours she was babysitting. We don't know how many hours that was, so we're going to use a variable h as the, as the variable. So we would have $6 times h. You can put those right next to each other. So what we would have is she just has $2, and she made $6 per hour babysitting. So we would just add an addition sign in between. So the final algebraic expression that we would have is 2 plus $6 times H. All right, what I want you to do now is to pause the video and try these examples yourself. Push the play button when you're ready to see the what I have done. All right, so the first one that we have is 30 pencils divided among some students. So, from the get-go, we can tell that we are going to be doing some division because it says divided. Now, we're trying to figure out what we're going to be dividing. So now it looks like we're doing, we're dividing 30 pencils, and we do not know how many students we have, so we're going to use the variable s for students, since student starts with s. So we have 30 divided by s and this is what our algebraic expression will look like it's 30 divided by s our next our next example is 13 more students than teachers so it looks like we are going to be adding since it's talking about how there are 13 more students than teachers so what we're adding together is the number 13 and we don't know how many teachers there are so we're just going to use teachers, we're going to use a variable of t uh, just because you can, because teachers begin with t. So we're going to, the algebraic expression would be 13 
plus t. And that's what our algebraic expression looks like. So now we have an algebraic expression, 6s plus 2y. And they're telling us that we are supposed to solve it when s is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. This is called the substitution method. So all that we really have to do is to rewrite the equation of 6s plus 2y and wherever wherever you see an s in the in the expression uh, plug in 1 and wherever you see a y all you have to do is plug in 3. It's that easy. So, and we would we'll rewrite the equation 6 times 1 plus 2 times 3. So now we're back to solving uh, the expression with the order of operations. So we would work with 6 times 1 first, which is equal to 6. And then we do 2 times 3, which is also equal to 6. Then we work 6 plus 6 from that. It is equal to 12. So with the substitution method, all that you really have to do is whenever you see a variable with whatever uh, the number is equal to, all you have to do is just plug it into the equation and solve the expression as usual. So now what I want you to do is to pause the video, try the example, and push the play button when you're finished so you can see the answer. So we have to evaluate 3a plus 2c if a is equal to 3, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 4. Just looking at the algebraic expression, um, we do not have any b's, so the very first thing that we could do is cross out that b equals 6, because we don't even need it. So we all we would have to do is just rewrite the equation, where we have 3, and a is equal to 3, so all I have to do is just substitute that in, and wherever we see any c's, we have to plug in a 4. So now we have this expression. 3 times 3 plus 2 times 4. All we would have to do is solve for each problem, where 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then we have 9 plus 8 and that is equal to 17. 